Thank you very, very much. Um, it is truly a tremendous pleasure and a great honor to welcome all of you to the U.S. Consul General in Dubai's fourth annual Women's Safety and Empowerment Short Film Contest award ceremony. Um, we're incredibly pleased to welcome you because we are incredibly impressed by the quality of the films that came in, and I, I can speak for my colleagues. Um, it was very, very difficult to get the number down to eight. And the truth is, I'm incredibly proud and impressed with the filmmakers who did these eight. But I am also really, really impressed and proud of the other 52. Because I think what this really says is that this is an issue that all of us care about. Um, I want to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished guests and panel judges, and just uh, you know, to the talented actresses uh, Sonakshi Sinha, Sarah Jane Diaz, and Sima Biswas, as well as uh, celebrated filmmaker Ankrita Chibrastava. Um, I want to also extend special thanks to our partner for the event, um, Women in Film and Television, and as a bureaucrat, of course, I intend to use the acronym of WIFT, um, but represented by our very good friend and partner and someone who we've really grown to admire tremendously, uh, Petrino uh, De Rosario. Uh, uh, Petrina, um, I want to commend you for all that you do to promote women in the film industry, including and in particular behind the camera, and for extending that passion for equality and opportunity this annual event. Some of you have been here in previous years, I suspect, and so you're aware that we do this in early December to coincide uh, with the November 25th to December 10th UN 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence campaign. Uh, this is, for us at the U.S. Consulate, this is something that we are truly passionate about because we don't think that we need only 16 days to combat uh, gender-based violence, but we think that, th and this is something that's 365 days, but we also think that it is important to bring people together to celebrate the good work that has been done to commemorate these 16 days. And because all of us are here because we believe in the importance of activism against gender-based violence. We at the Consul General are proud to be part of this global initiative, but what we're really proud of is the resonance that it has with our friends and partners in India. Uh, this is not something that we see as, as something that we're pushing. Rather, we are part of a much broader community that recognizes that gender-based violence is unacceptable under any circumstances. That equality and empowerment of women is something we do not as a favor to women, but because it is right and because it is in our interest as people and as for our societies. And this is you know, it's, it's, I don't know how this may sound, but this is something that I shouldn't even be speaking about. Women's safety, women's empowerment, Hello. education, Hello. equality. None of us should be speaking about it because it should be a given. In today's day and age, we make up half the planet. We've, we've always been the other gender. Why one gets it so easily and on a platter, why should the other have to fight for it? I want to be live in a world where we as women are able to choose. You know, we played the waiting game for the longest time. Women are always waiting to be protected. Women are always waiting to be rescued. Women are always waiting for permission, for validation, for acceptance, for approval. We live in a country where we worship goddesses like Lakshmi, Saraswati, Kali, Durga. 
But yet, line we line camera line eliminate the girl line child line before she can even open her eyes and step into the world. I don't want to live in a world like that. And, and honestly, when initiatives like this are taken about ending gender-based violence, I feel like being a part of the Hindi film industry, being an actor today, gives me a voice, gives me a perspective, gives me a way, a means to make a difference. And, you know, being here today, I'm really happy that so many people have taken the effort, have taken up, um, you know, making these short films. And are showing these films over here because, you know, we can reach out to so many people all across the world and create some sort of awareness. Although I still stand by what I said earlier. It shouldn't be. It should just be a given. spoken about this anywhere before, but um, I was accused of uh, doing a lot of roles in my films that were regressive. The fingers were always pointed at me. Nobody pulled up the writer who wrote the film in the role. Nobody pulled up the director who made the film. It was always me. So, you know, I, I would always be on the defensive and be like, you know, why are people saying this to me? I'm just an actor doing my job. But then I realized, you know what? Maybe in some way they are right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing and maybe I should be doing something that does not portray me as the damsel in distress. Which is when I started doing films like Akira, where I played a martial artist who, you know, just was able to take care of herself. I did a film called Force 2 where I played a raw agent. I did a film called Noor where I played a very modern working woman. And honestly, all these roles empowered me in some way or the other. Girls today come to me and say, I'm, I was able to encourage self-defense uh, when I did Akira because I actually uh, trained for it. And I feel that self-defense should be incorporated in our syllabus today. Not only here, but probably all around the world. Where girls are able to make themselves so strong that they can protect themselves. We don't need to wait for anyone. We will always be waiting. I believe as women, we need to make ourselves strong enough that we can protect ourselves, we can rescue ourselves, and we can take care of ourselves. So I'm really happy to be here today. I'd like to wish all the filmmakers all the very best. Uh, and I'd like to say that I am very, very proud of you for doing this. And I hope that you all end up making a lot more films that you know give out this amazing message to end gender-based violence and yeah so let's begin thank you guys